come this winter. I have no idea how cold it'll get up here. We'll find out. And then like I said, I got the, the water coming in from here. Oh, Kroger, Jesus. <laughs> God, what is it when I get a camera? <laughs> Quit. <laughs> God, <dang. laughs> anyway, <laughs> the water, hi, Rook, yeah. Okay, let's see, the water comes in there. And eventually it goes up. Howdy everybody, Desert Horizons here, AZ Off-Grid Unplugged RV Ranch. This one's going to be about the uh, water system, slightly more detailed, in-depth look at what it is I've done. Of course, I got the 2,500-gallon uh, tank here, and the last time I checked it, the water was about to here. I actually bought here, 1,600 gallons. So, but it's got a fitting or opening or whatever you want to call it up there and uh, it had another one down here uh, so I took the cap off like up here it's got this removable piece but well, it had one down here it was larger so I took that in to Ace Hardware I said okay I need a fitting for that it'll shrink it down to a garden hose with a shutoff valve in it so I got the valve right there and all that stuff to plug it in and I had to get some I don't know what it was uh, plumber's tape or something up well the vinyl type plumber's tape for wrapping around the threads um, and also there was something else I had to do because it was under pressure I don't remember what it was I had to do on the particular fittings it was like pipe dope or something like that anyway um, from where the water comes out of the tank I got the hose buried. Um, and <laughs> right about here, I was gonna go up to that pole, but instead I, right about here, I angled it off towards the RV, and good thing I did, because Rudiger decided that this is a good place to start digging holes. <laughs> so, that's the way that works. All right, okay, and... All right, and then there's the other end of the hose coming from the tank, going right around there. You gotta follow it, and it goes up to. It comes in here and goes up to the 12 volt pump, uh, and then the water goes around and down to there. And connects up with the the hose. Comes down from there, goes around there, and then angles towards the back of the RV. Where I have it plugged into my uh, city water inlet th thing. Um, this thing right here fits very snugly in that hole there, so when I turn it on, there's water coming out there. It doesn't come out very fast, but the, the water tank itself is right underneath here, and then it's got the 12 volt pump on board the RV to distribute the water around. So that's why I put the water in the RV tank. Um, all right, let's see if I can explain this mess here. Uh, right here, I used to have two, or well, uh, that's where the coach battery goes, the ones that operates the onboard water pump, the uh, lights, uh, the DC lights on the inside, uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, I took the batteries out of here and moved them into the a back, a rearward compartment and just ran the wires up here. Here's the positive wire coming up, and here's the negative wire coming up. So rather than having the batteries here, I just have the wires coming up from the batteries um, to the, like I said, this was the positive terminal and that was the negative terminal. Um, that's all just keeping all the onboard DC things working. I have the, the AC stuff totally shut off in the RV. All right. And because of uh, how this is set up, here's a, 
a negative cable wire for the 12 volt water pump. Here's the positive cable for the 12 volt water pump going up to the switch and then over to the pump itself. So all I got to do is flip the switch and that starts pumping water from the tank underground all the way back. Now it's filling up my holding tank right now. <laughs> so it's much easier. I just put about 30 gallons in it about 10 minutes ago. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's my water system. I know this look, kind of looks like a hodgepodge of wires, but like I said, all this was, oops, that wire's coming loose. Ooh. All right, I gotta fix that. All right, but that's uh, the water system with the, the switch there, and uh, it says it's a 12 volt water pump. Here, let me flip this upside down and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work actually on the camera itself. It's a very, very low juice, low draw water pump. Ordered it from Walmart, I think. Yeah, ordered it from Walmart. But that's my 12 volt water system. Like I said, I still got 1600 gallons or so in that tank over there. Buried the line all the way up to here to keep it out of the sun. I know you're not supposed to drink from water that's been in a green hose. Um, I didn't know that when I was growing up. I'm 60 years old now. Um, but when I was growing up, all summer long, that was our main source of uh, liquid refreshment was out of the garden home. But anyway, because I've got it all buried, I'm not worried about it. And it goes into the RV, into the holding tank, which I wouldn't trust water from there anyway. Um, then I put, I run it through my Berkey water purification filter thing for the drinking water. And I'll take you inside, show you that. And that's where I keep my Berkey. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah, it's right here on the counter right as I walk out the door, so. And I just fill it right there from the sink. That's, uh, from one end to the other.